there are two levels of indicators. First level demonstrate the, the progress of the of the uh, project, which is more focused on number. Very often it starts with number. Another level of indicators, which is used to measure the changes, which is very often they start with percentage. So the first is for demonstrate the, the progress and the second level is for measuring changes. Welcome to Research Hub learning video. For those who are new to this video, just let you know that in this channel, you will learn how to develop a, a project, the project management, uh, monitoring and evaluation, social research, and so on. So if you would like to follow us, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. We are posting one new video in every week. Today we're gonna discuss, first of all, we're gonna discuss on the levels of level of indicators. For, for those who haven't watched another video that I discussed about the different elements of the project, since the indicators will go along with the project's components. So here's the project components that we have. We have inputs and activities. We have outputs. We have outcomes and impacts. So in another video, I discuss very detail all about these elements. So if you would like to understand project clearly, please watch my video in the link below here that the title is uh, the link below that the title of that video is the, the project log frame. Look at that video and then you will you will get a better understanding of all these components of the project. So then uh, we have indicators, we will the level of indicators or indicators that kind of develop to measure all this. Here you, you can see that there are four for for components or four steps or four level. However, I will group this only into two step or two level of indicators. So for level, we call it outputs indicators, activity and output indicators. Other people might call it process indicators. That's fine. But it's just only terminology. But just let you understand that this type of indicators or this level of indicators is used to demonstrate the progress of the project only. So you form these indicators, this level of indicator, just to, to, to demonstrate the progress of, of the project. Or another word, you just demonstrate the, the, the progress of the activity. So in this level, the indicator is not intent to measure any change. Normally, this type of indicator, this level of indicator, you will see start with the number like right here. You will see like, for example, in this one, number of farmers who receive training on climate change adaptation by the end of project. So they have like here, number of farmers, start with number. So since this is more, this indicator just only demonstrate the output, the, the progress of the output only. Or another word you can say that it just only demonstrate of the, the progress of the activity. How many activity has been done? How many, how many people involved in that activity? That's kind of thing. So it is about demonstrating the progress. For next level, I classify it as a, another type, another level of indicators, which is, I call it outcome or impacts indicators. So this indicator, mainly you use it to measure change. What does in, this measure change, which all the way like in, in, the, in the indicator statement, you will very often, you will see a verb or change in, the, in, in that statement. For example, here, increase. You might see the verb this, increase from X to Y or decreased or improve. So those are very popular or very common words that you can find in the outcome or, or impacts indicator statement. There's many more words or verb of, of change that 
that can be used in the impacts and outcome indicator. Indicator. I just mentioned only three, but a lot, a lot more. You can you can uh, explore or you may experience di different from here. Once again, just emphasize this. So this indicator in indicator is used to measure change. Therefore, we are not interested to see the progress or the number. We are not interested to see the number, but what we would like to see, we're really interested to see the changes of people thinking or how many people, how many percent of people have been changed, their, their thinking have been changed. How many percent of our target group have changed their practice? So we are looking for change in the, like my previous learning video, we are discussing on the, the change of the outcome and the impacts. So at the outcome level and impacts level, we are looking for change that happen at the, at the practice. So very often, this indicator, in indicator start with percentage. For example, percentage of target farmers report, reported applying at least five methods of agricultural climate change adaptation increased from X percent to Y percent by the end of project. So like you can see over here, so the this in this in indicator start with percentage and there's a word there's a a word increased here uh, the, a word of change here increase so increase from x to y so percentage of target farmer reported applying at least five methods of agricultural climate change adaptation increase from x percent to y percent by the end of project so this is we call outcome or impacts indicators. In the following, you will we will know exactly is this the outcome indicators or this is the impact indicator in 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 the in indicator. All I mentioned earlier, watch another video on the project components or or the the project log frame. Then you can tell this indicator is for measuring outcome or measuring the impact. By just reading the, the statement of indi indicator, you understand exactly this indicator is only for measuring the, what was it, only measuring the, the outcome. It's not for the impact, right? So if you would like to have a, a good understanding or you can differentiate whether this indicator is for impact or is for outcome, just make sure you watch another video. In conclusion, they have two lower of indicators. First level demonstrate the, the progress of the, of the uh, project, which is more focused on number. Very often it start with number. Another level of indicators, which is used to measure the changes, which is very often they start with percentage. So the first is for demonstrate the, the progress and the second level is for measuring changes. Uh, thanks for watching this video and I uh, uh, hope you like it. And uh, any questions, feel free to drop your comments in the comments box below. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'm, I'm happy to answer the questions. Um, I'm happy to, to read your comments or feedbacks here. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Then you uh, will get alert when I have a new video about these topics. Once again, thanks and uh, uh, good luck.